Hey everyone, it's Mike from This Old Hot Rod. It is Thursday, it's about 6 o'clock. It's date night tonight. And I'm trying to convince my girlfriend to do a block sanding date night. I don't know how good that's going to go over. <laughs> it's Wednesday. I've had three super late nights in the garage this week uh, till like 2 a.m. Um, trying to get all the filler done on top of the epoxy. I've got it to a point where I'm happy with it. I just rolled the car outside. You can see the carnage of body filler that's on the ground. I'm going to blow the garage out, I'm going to blow off the car and then roll the car back in, re-tape it up and then later on this evening I'm going to spray the car again with another coat of epoxy sealer and what, what that does is it seals in the filler, the bodywork so again you're starting with a clean surface on top of that epoxy the second coat of sealer I'll let that flash for 30 minutes and once that primer or sealer is dry I'll go over it with this is a polyester primer sealer or surfacer so what this is is it's basically liquid bondo they call it it's really easy to sand and I'll block this product down 180, 320, and then 400. So this is, it's a four to one mixture. So four parts of the solid to the activator. This also needs to be mixed up. It's been sitting on a shelf for a little while. Uh, and it does have a shelf life. So I'm hoping it's good. It sounds like it is. So this goes on after my epoxy. And then once this is on, this gets sanded, like I said, down to 400, which I can hopefully do tomorrow, maybe into Friday. And then once that's done and I'm happy with it, I hit the whole car again with another coat of sealer, epoxy sealer. And then as soon as that's tacked up and dry, I just put my finish right over that. So there'll be, so it'll go urethane, body filler. No, I'm sorry. Scratch that. Epoxy, body filler, epoxy, primer surfacer, epoxy, finish. And then on top of my finish, I'm going to do a coat of black primer, which sounds crazy. But if you go back a few videos, you saw me remove the black primer off the car to expose the turquoise. I'm going to end up having to do that again. So I'm going to spray the whole car with turquoise, do probably do five or six coats thick enough so I'm, I'm not going to risk sanding through it if I can help it. On top of that, I'll probably just do one medium coat of black primer and then let that dry and then sand. So if I can get that done, I think I can. I'm pretty sure I'll have time as long as the weather works with me, which it looks like it's going to be a good couple of days. So this is the coop. This is where I'm at. Like I said, I got everything blocked out. This is only 80 grit. I only used 80 grit to knock everything down. Uh, I have a little bit more to do in regards to sanding some of the epoxy down in the areas I didn't body fill. Uh, you don't want it to be shiny, because if it's shiny, then the other the next coat isn't going to stick to it but i've got all of this sanded down with 80 grit just to give it a little bit of tooth so i know my next coat of epoxy is going to seal it so i'll get the car blown off go over it again real quick make sure i'm good to go and then roll it back in
So this is what I'm gonna try to recreate. As you can see the black primer, these were just chips in the paint, and now there's black primer down on the bare metal where the paint was chipped. A little bit of black inside that ding. It's gonna be impossible for me to recreate that. I'm not even going to attempt to. I'll just let time do that. So this is essentially what I'm gonna to try to recreate. You can see some old brush strokes from a paintbrush. The car was brush painted at some point in his life, its life. So I'm hoping areas like this is what I'll be able to recreate on the top of the car. I went a little overboard on the filler and what I was planning on doing. What? It's not your collar, honey. It's just a camera. Sounded like your collar, didn't it? There's Wessie. Hi, thank you. Doggy, so good. He's so good. He's a be nice boy. I'm not sure where it is though. This is why I'm getting fat. You're getting fat because you eat too much food. No, no, no. <laughs> you eat more than I do. I don't know where I put my beer. It's out there. Oh. Do, 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 do. Whoop. Well, I don't know. You're the auto body technician. You know what you're doing, right? Don't rip it. I'm not ripping it. You don't want to stretch it too much because if you stretch it, it'll just shrink. And this is how I tape the car. Bobby. Okay, I did it really good. Oh, yeah, I did it even better than you, babe. I doubt that. No, I did. Come on, it's perfect. I know. Did I go over yours? Did you have... Hmm? Can I rip it now? Yeah. Ew, this stuff smells like horse manure. The it's filler? Yeah. Maybe it's made out of that. Or something, man. Maybe it's you. Yeah, look how good I did, honey. Is that yeah, gonna... Just use your fingernail. Is that bad, though? No. Uh, this is just the prime. Here, Jesus. So. Yeah, it's so good. See how good I did? Look how good that is. All the way yeah, around. I need to go around and clean up just a little bit to fill her nice inside edge. Hold on. You want to say hi? Hey, Wessie. <laughs> I didn't say you'd give me kisses. Kiss my mouth. Kiss my nose. All right. It is later. Ate some dinner. I'm remasking off the car. I went around, fine sanded a few areas here and there. When I say fine sanded, I sanded with 180 grit. Not the whole roof, but some sections where I didn't want to knock down any edges and some of the deep in the lines and stuff like that in the body lines. Um, it's not perfect. I need to just tell myself to stop so I can keep this moving forwards. Oh, I'm remasking the car. I've got the inside of the door masked off. Working my way around. And then I'm going to give it a wipe down, a little tack rag it, and then I'm going to spray my epoxy sealer on it again. After the sealer tacks up for 30 minutes, I'm going to spray it with my high build. So I'm going to let that sit for the night. Tomorrow when I get home from work, I'll start block sanding the high build down. 
so let's do that. Well, I'm back at it. I got the car masked off. It's all wiped down. I got a fan blown, an exhaust fan out the door. I'm gonna shoot another couple coats of sealer on this now. I'm, I just mixed it up. Got my little spout that I made. I don't know if that's right or not, but it seems like it'll work. So, I'll try that. I'm going to get this mixed up and uh, get spraying. This stuff stinks. Well, I'll be damned. It does work. <laughs> Wiping it down so I can see my paint line. I'm right at 12 ounces. Three ounces of activator. That is that. So I'm going to let that sit, let the activator do its thing. About 20 minutes, maybe a little less than that. Then I'm going to get this thing in sealer again. coats of epoxy on the car now to seal in the body filler I have one more coat to put on that's what I have for material in the cup and the gun I'm cleaning up my paddle so I can mix up my high build primer I'm gonna let that epoxy sit for 30 minutes and I'm gonna coat it with primer after that And then I'll walk away from it for the night, let the primer dry. Yeah. The 
Again, I got the pressure turned down on the tank to 50 PSI. Just enough. <coughs> and then I have my gut, my screw, my drill on low speed. <coughs> That's high speed. This is low speed. Just not to make a mess. May actually be turned down too much. Nope. I disconnect the airline. Disconnect the airline from this. And then loosen the chuck. Alright. I'm going to get this primer mixed up, mixed up so it can activate on its own while I'm spraying the last coat of sealer. Then I'll clean out my gun. By the time I got my gun cleaned out, this primer should be ready to go. Whew! Comes in handy! I love it! Four to one, same mixture. Same math. So I'm going to do probably shoot two complete cups of this on the car. So I'm going to go 20 ounces like I did the other night. And then five of activator. So I have 20 ounces on the nose. Five ounces of activator. So it's been about 35 40 minutes that epoxy kicked off so it's good now it's dry to the touch for the most part it's a little tacky which is perfect so i'm ready to start spraying high build primer uh, i have about two-thirds of a cup in here now which i'm gonna do one light coat like i did with all the other products with the epoxy let that coat flash 10 minutes and then I'm going to start applying heavier coats. And uh, so far it's looking really good. Take you for a quick walk around. I'm not seeing anything major jumping out at me. The rear corners of the car are probably the most critical part. They were really hard to get that shape. You get so much going on back here. So everything looks good. Area where it was chopped looks good. Uh, that dent in the front, that's all gone now. My patches were here. Those look good. But all these issues in the back where the metal was overlapped and pie cut, that's all gone away. And if there's anything else that still remains, this high build primer, when it gets sanded out, will take care of, uh, the high build primer will take care of anything. So this is a polyester high build primer or a surfacer primer. So this is what you use to block out to do your final block sanding up to 400, 800, whatever you're going to do. Talk too much without my respirator on. I got six or seven coats of the high build primer on the car. I'll take a walk around with you. This is where my patch was, my filler. I see a little ridge on one of the bits of uh, body filler there, but that shouldn't be a problem. That should knock down just fine. Again, it's not perfect. I'm not trying to make it perfect. It's not a show car. 
Nothing I own is a show car. I just want it to be nice for what it is. It's an old hot rod. With a couple little pinholes, I'll fill those with glazing. Glazing is just like an ultra lightweight body filler that you can kind of use a little bit towards the end and get away with it. A little spot here. All in all, really happy with the way it came out. And the products I used work just as good as they did when I used where uh, painted my coupe, my other my 30 coupe. I'm gonna get this gun cleaned up and get outside and take my respirator off and go get some fresh air. We appreciate everyone following along. I'm having fun doing this. I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel. I wish I made one when I started working on my 29 sedan, which is in the garage, big garage. And I also wish I did a, a video series on my 1930 coupe when I when I put that together. However, the timing wasn't right and it wasn't in the cards, but the timing's right now for the 34. And I want to do this car justice. I want to give this car a name. I want to make this car just something that people recognize and people appreciate. Because back in the day, it was just another old hot rod. But to me, it's it's more than that. This is history. And I'm very privileged to be able to bring this history back. Not too many people get an opportunity to do something like this. It's Again, it's not going to be perfect. I just want it to be perfect for what it is. Just an old hot rod. So, it's so this old hot rod. Thanks again for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. It's date night tonight. And I'm trying to convince my girlfriend to do... A block sanding date night I don't know how good that's gonna go over <laughs> uh, we have a party coming up this weekend Saturday and I'm trying to get the car in paint before the parties so so this kind there's a lot to do <laughs> I'm gonna get sanding on this now and uh, kind of see see what I can get done Hopefully I can get it all block sanded down four to 400 and then get all my lines where I want them, get everything the way I want it to be, and maybe get some color on this thing. So, yep, let's do it. The block sanding process goes the same way as it did with all the other materials I put on the car. Sand marks this way, sand marks this way. This is a rigid block, so I'm not going to do a whole lot on the car with this. There's a few areas I can work with this. You can already see it's getting a lot smoother. But like I said, there's only so much I'm going to be able to do with this actual block itself. I'm going to get the big areas done first. And then start working on the smaller areas. How's it going everyone it's eight o'clock thursday night um i'm working on 400 grit sandpaper on my high build primer and this is going to be my last round of sanding on the roof uh, and i'm going to roll the car out and blow it off with the air compressor or my backpack blower and then roll the car back in give it a wipe down do another coat of sealer and then try to get some color on it I have put put a lot of hours into this car this week you know nights go until 1 32 a.m. to try to get this thing painted before the weekend Kind of just pushing myself. I don't know. I shouldn't be, but I am. But I think there's a lot of us that do that.
it'll be worth it in the end. Let me get back to sanding. Giving the car one final tack down with a tack cloth, a wipe down. And getting ready to spray the final coat of sealer. I've got everything masked off. Oh, I see a bug in here, son of a bitch. Shut this door. So my GoPro died, so I wasn't able to film everything as I was sanding and doing all that stuff. I got my epoxy in my gun ready to go. The body is sanded down to 400 grit. I've got most of the sins out of it. I didn't go crazy with little spot putty glazing or anything. I just left it the way it was. It's okay if it's not perfect. This is the deck lid. So as I was block sanding out the deck lid, on the edge of this deck lid, I noticed, uh, I think it might be on the other side. Probably don't know if you can see this or not. That's turquoise paint. So this is the deck lid that came with the car. I had sanded down originally the black primer that was on it and noticed there was no turquoise paint. Tons of filler though. So Brad had, had must have at some point body worked this deck lid when he owned the car and skim coated it and then hit it with sealer or whatever, some type of a primer. So this is in fact the actual deck lid that came on the car, which is nice to know, but it makes me wonder whatever happened to the deck lid hinges, which at this point it doesn't really make a difference, but it just makes me wonder. So I'm gonna get my respirator on and I'm gonna spray this. I'm not gonna keep my phone out because I don't want to get over spray anywhere on my phone and I don't have a holder at the moment to hold it. Actually, I can stick it to the cabinet. I have a magnet. Uh, so I'll do that. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get this car sprayed. I have my final coat of sealer on the car now. That's the final coat. I just put two coats of sealer back over the high build primer after it was sanded down to 400 grit. So far, everything looks good. In my true amateur opinion, <laughs> I'm gonna clean up as a deck lid. I'm going to clean out my gun and get ready to mix up some paint. So I 
be what it should be. Well, I got the car sprayed, or well, what I was gonna spray of the car. Unfortunately, it's not the color match I had hoped. This is a lot bluer. This is more green. I think you can see it in the picture. So, I think what I'm gonna have to do is just paint the whole car, unfortunately. I hadn't planned on doing that, but I can't leave it like this. It just doesn't look right. Even sanding it down and doing what I was gonna do to make it look like the existing car, it's just, it's two different colors. Pretty far off, unfortunately. There's the deck lid. You can look, you can see it, I know you can. So, I don't know. I think I might just do a quick paint job on the rest of the car and then kind of do the patina deal to make it look like it used to look. I don't know. Bummer. Happy it's done, but I'm not super happy with the color. I love the color. Uh, no, I, I guess I shouldn't say I don't. I don't like the color. I love, I absolutely love the color. <clears throat> I just wish it matched the rest of the car better. <sighs> Ugh, a lot of late nights to end up with this result. <laughs> but I guess that's just the way it goes when you're trying to paint half a car. I, I knew in the back of my mind it probably wasn't going to match. But I was hoping it would be a little closer than this. So, I guess I'm painting the whole car at this point. Always an adventure. <laughs>